Hey guys, so I'm out here at a nature conservancy where I've spent a lot of time. And uh, some of you who've been following my journey know that I have become a certified forest therapy guide and so, or forest bathing, however you want to call it. And so I've talked about it and I just recently embarked on a new project where I have created an audio file which I will talk more about at the end and how it will be made available for you to experience a forest bathing walk. But I just wanted to, I guess, share what you might expect on a forest therapy, forest bathing walk, because I think a lot of people are confused as to what exactly it is and um, yeah, what happens on a walk. I know when I first went on one, I was like, what is this? And then once I experienced it, I was like, makes total sense that that's what this is. So to start with, likely whoever you're going to um, have your walk with, we'll give you a briefing as to um, the land and hazards, where bathrooms might be, where, where they might not be. Um, ask you about any concerns you might have or um, any health issues that um, you know you might like a guide to know of and then the sun. and then you will be briefed on what an invitation is which is um, what every single walk has and basically the basis of forest therapy is on something we call invitations and they are just like it sounds inviting you to participate in a certain activity. You will be briefed on that because I think it's important that you know that the time that you've taken out of your life to come on this walk is for you. And while in other places it might be seen as disrespectful if you choose to, is this plugged in? I guess so. Sorry, I got distracted again. It's important that you know this time is for you and that if you feel, you know, you see something you really want to go explore, do that because we all know that um, at the end of the day, we're just trying to nurture our um, well-being. And so in whatever way feels best for you, you, ex you use that time. That will all be briefed and some people will do a longer or shorter version and then you will start with something we call pleasures of presence which is something just to really center yourself and get you tuned into your senses and um, the environment around you and so through various means people will likely invite you to close your eyes again you don't have to if that feels too edgy for you um, and you will be guided through a sequence of um, opening up to your senses. So you'll, we'll, um, a guide will name them and have, you know, conjoining sentences or conjoining um, words to help guide you through um, that that opening process of, you know, what what do you hear and what do you see, what do you smell. What do you touch? Notice your sense of touch. And as I'm talking now, I'm realizing that I have uh, neglected to acknowledge that, um, you know, people who are actually certified in this have been trained in a certain language. And as I'm describing it to you, I realize I'm not describing it to the best of um, how I've been trained to use it in a walk. And so just know that. Um, as guides, we are very careful and intentional with our words to not um, close off any any experience, any one right way to do something. We really try to keep things open to everyone. Um, and so we do that through 
the words that we use and how we um, reassure people who might have questions about various things. So at the end of that first invitation, then we will have a circle. And so basically, it's then that I will introduce a <clears throat> talking piece. And a talking piece is just a symbol that when it's passed around, we just ask that you um, listen with an open heart to whoever has this talking piece or a leaf or a stick or some dirt, whatever it may be. Um, and if you have the talking piece, the, the prompt is, what are you noticing? And so, you know, it could be anything. Um, it could be what you're noticing internally. Maybe it recalled a memory for you. Maybe you're just noticing the warm sun on the back of your head as I am. Um, or maybe you're noticing how relaxing that felt. Um, maybe you noticed a bird calling. Whatever it is, it is open and welcome within the circle. And so this is just kind of an opportunity to deepen into not only our experience and vocalize that in some way, but also add to our experience and expand that um, through the use of, you know, hearing other people's perspectives and experiences because we are all in the same place, but we all have different um, things that we might be more tuned into or not. So we'll go around and again, it'll be prefaced that silence is a perfectly fine and also a powerful communicator and so for those of you who maybe don't feel like speaking or don't have something to share um, you're always welcome to pass and it's never necessary that you have to say something um, and then not to give too much more away because I think there's something about the magic of going on your first forest therapy walk um, but then there will be a invitation really just slowing you down and inviting you to notice your environment um, and you'll be walking very slowly very very slowly for about 15 minutes and then you'll have another circle and you'll go through the the same invitation some people will then do sharing in you know a smaller group in two or sharing in three really depends on your group size and then there'll be maybe one more invitation or two or three, depending on how much time you have, um, followed by a circle of some sort. And sometimes people won't do a circle. Um, there will always be probably at least three circles on a walk, just to preface that. Um, and then we end with a tea ceremony. And so this is an opportunity to physically take in a part of the walk. And so as a guide, we're looking out on the trail for some tea plant that we are 110% um, sure that we know is um, healthy and edible and okay to uh, drink in a tea. And we will um, you know, boil some hot water or we have a hot thermos with hot water in it already and we'll just have some tea and snacks and uh, we'll close the walk with one final circle just asking if there's anything that we feel we need to say that would help us make this walk feel complete. Um, and I just think it's a really good way for anyone to have an opportunity to just you know, sometimes you feel like, oh, I should have said that, or I really want to share this piece of my experience. And a lot of times we don't have that moment of closure. And I think that prompt is just a really beautiful one to help, um, you know, reconnect us to our whole experience and just see if there's something that, you know, would feel really good to say in that moment. So that's basically a walk and it can be anywhere from, a, from an hour, which most guides do not like hour walks, um, far too short. So I prefer between two and three hours, 
Um, that might seem like a lot of time, but I can tell you it flies by, it doesn't feel like that much time, and um, you definitely need it. So, yeah. I think that's all I want to say. I will leave some resources below for you to discover the nearest guide to you. And lastly, I just want to say that, um, you know, I think some people might not like the idea of circles and I think it's really important that we understand the power of giving each and every person a voice. I know throughout my education and and beyond I've definitely been in many spaces in most spaces that I was in I felt like my voice was not valued or heard and that I was not given an equal opportunity to um, share my perspective and what I had to say and so with forest therapy it's just a really beautiful example of what communication and what what listening should really look like and so it was it was really powerful that piece of it for me um, feeling like my voice mattered and that other people were listening to what I had to say so I'm gonna turn off this video now and enjoy the rest of my Time here in the woods the sun is peeping peeping in and out and it's just really nice um, I will be filming more videos soon so stay tuned bye guys Love